A couple of key points to take away. Everybody's heard this, but systems engineer like myself is one who uh, constantly is herding cats, a little bit like John in this uh, conference. So liquid is a key. You, most of the processes, in some form or fashion, uh, this system is going to have to have a liquid component. And a co liquid core is very different from the, the solid core that the nuclear industry is usually so comfortable with. The other thing is that thorium itself is not, it is the long term, it is the real long term goal that's really exciting. But there are a lot of things we can do beforehand, and a lot of trades on what's the first prototype uh, to go forward, whether you, you end up with a system where you have s uh, several large plants producing uh, or converting the thorium into uh, reactor fuel and then trucking at that to smaller plants throughout the, uh, the country, whether you do the processing there in the, um, uh, the small reactor. The other is uh, the use of modular. It, it kind of bothered me a little bit because I wasn't sure whether they're talking modular or mobile, what exactly that means. The main thing from a systems design point is that the, the, uh, the reactor remains small. At least the core of the reactor is small. And the reason for that is uh, most of the modeling equations are going to drive you to a bigger core a lot of times. And um, the benefit, the flexibility, the cost, the infrastructure cost you're going to put up front, all that is uh, driving you the other way. And in the system trade design and actually doing project management, you're always going to have that push-pull and you've got to have that upfront confidence and, and commitment to say it will remain small, I will not grow that core too big and become an unmobile, highly uh, capitally intense project. The other is uh, proliferation. I know it was mentioned and, and I want to, um, I guess, take both sides. One, I don't think you can fairly say uh, it's, there's no proliferation risk. Okay, when you're using a nuclear reactor, that can't be said. And when you're a scientist or engineer, you tend to be very precise and say, there's nothing that's perfect in this world. However, if your design drives towards the small reactor, um, one of the keys is your neutron economy. Um, if, I don't, if, I, if I have a small reactor, I'm, I barely have enough neutrons to keep the reactor going. That means I can't steal them for other purposes. And if I take fuel out, okay, I always end up shutting down the reactor. Now, the larger reactors, one can get away with doing that more uh, stealthily uh, in a reasonable amount of time. But either I have to do it over many years trying to gain material, or I'm, I'm going to shut down the reactor, which is going to be real obvious uh, to anybody. So it isn't perfectly proliferation resistance. There's a lot of other issues. Um, but again, a small core uh, reduces that in that kind of design. So some of the ideas um, I was going to suggest here was uh, uh, government regulations, um, uh, international cooperation. I think we're seeing some of that in this meeting. Um, the industrial ver and private versus government lead position. We're seeing that with SpaceX uh, starting. How does the government give up control of something that it's always had control of, like space? And so that's an interesting uh, topic. And then the other one is, is working with government agencies um, I'm sure that uh, we, we could all, uh, what do you call it, work on our skills in, in that regard, at least some of us here more than others. Um, and then the university research and, and national labs, I think there's a lot of important things they need to be doing and we need to encourage them to come to these meetings and I'm glad we saw some of that uh, this time as around. Uh, the last word is, in the end, improving the economy, making uh, money, those kinds of things the increase of wealth has to be with, with real material, and energy is real. Uh, to grow your economy, you have to have something real. This is not uh, something in um, a Ponzi scheme or a um, pyramid scheme. This is something that actually can grow the economy in all kinds of ways, which we can't even calculate, because you don't know what will happen with that energy or with that funding that somebody else is saying, I don't need to spend it on energy, I can spend it somewhere else. Thank you.